Good afternoon, it's Holly Miller with Country Road Crafts. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some decor for Christmas or holidays. So um, <clears throat> I created them with my CNC. However, I broke my bits that Frank had to save me and help me cut them out on his um, dance top. Give me a second, I'll flip around the screen and you guys can see what's going on. <clears throat> So, that's a little close. Let me see if I can move this back a little bit for you. Yeah, upside down. I know I'm upside down. I'm going to move it around. <coughs> okay. So, I'm going to actually. So, I'm going to paint these first. I am going to use. um. I'm going to paint them and then I'm going to decoupage on them and they paint up on their own. So it's kind of cute. So I'm going to use um, Chaplin on the little thing. I got this infusion. Like this around in the way. There we go. And I'm just going to paint this up. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are doing good tonight. Hopefully nobody is had any issues with that storm that came through. Goodness. <clears throat> so I'm using a fusion mineral paint. I'm using a Chaplain, just making this white, just to give a little bit of color underneath it so the um paper doesn't look so thin Okay. Yep. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. And then on this one, I am going to use Highlander, Fusion Highlander. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, I'll put it, I'll put them at the, I'll put it in the description. And actually, in the description also, I am going to start a blog in the first year on basic um, how to paint furniture or decor. So if you guys are interested in looking at that, um, sign up on the VIP list and those folks will be the ones that will get access to the um, blog. And the description of the VIP and the link to the VIP list is in the description. So And keep your eyes out for um for info on the vlog that I'm going to start doing. <clears throat> this crazy weather's got my sinuses all crazy. And if you guys want a copy of the um, <clears throat> items list, 
book stuff that I make in our reviews today. Um, put, a, put a note in the comments saying um, a list, and I will get that list to you guys. Um, A list, yes, another list, I know, I know. Somebody said the other day that you like lists, don't you? Absolutely. A product list, there you go, Frank, words. I know. I know. So what I did was took a design and cut these out on my CNC, partly until my thing broke because I broke the bit. Oh, terrible. So I need to buy a new bit or I don't have any extras of these because I was going to cut out a few of them, but I didn't get there. And the last color I'm going to use is called Everett. Oh, and this is the one that they busted open up the shop. I don't think I can get this open. Hang on, guys. Oh, my goodness. Tell them the story. Um, in the summer, and I can't get this open. In the summer, um, they I stocked up at the shop. And um, we had someone that had come into the shop and was opening paint to help it. And they kind of made a mess. I don't know if you've seen the post at that point, but they kind of made a mess. Let me turn this around. They, they made a mess all over the place with my, my um, in the floor, they broke some paint bottles and they, my displays, how to repaint some my displays and they had paint all over. Look, paint all over the lid. I can't sell that. So I picked it all up. Hey, Doris, how are you? So um, I had to go in and the color I painted the one display was lighter than this color. So it made a big old mess on it. And I had to go in. And the color that I painted this way was uh, Sacred Sage and it was discontinued. And I'm like, great. I'm going to have to paint the whole thing all over again. However, digging through my stash, I found three of these little tiny ones. I found three tiny ones like this of the sacred sage. And uh, with the sacred sage, uh, I was able to clean off the stuff and then repaint it. And you can't even tell. And I know I posted the pictures. I can repost those. <clears throat> but um, it was just so aggravating because they were trying to get high off the paint. And they added some kind of, uh, I don't even know, something to it where they're illegal something and others. I don't even know what it was. But the police had come in and they took a statement and um I think the individual was arrested. Oh my goodness. I didn't get anything for it and I didn't I just be able to claim it on my taxes as a uh, loss, I guess. I think it was five five hundred dollars. I have it written down. By the time I painted and cleaned and you know restocked what they ruined. Yeah, it was not fun. But it all worked out. I found the paint. It was just it was just an inconvenience. I like this color. Actually this color here is a color of the week for fusion. I think it's next week. I think I got them confused, but it's okay. It's my color of the week. How about that? And then the Highlander was the color of the week for Fusion for last week.
Do you like this color too, Frank? Ugh. For my goof. Huh. Story of my life. I misread the date. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> so the um, decoupage tissues I'm going to put on it is called um, Angel. I think it's called Angel Master Board. And it has, you can see all of them. They're kind of big. You put angels on it. Yeah. They're white. That's why I colored it so I can put it underneath it. You can see a little bit through it. So I'm going to put the red one in and the green one to the side and let them dry for a little bit. And I'm going to work on the white without making a big mess, right? So I'm going to use. This one I'll put on it. Yep, it'll fit right there. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to get my scissors. I am going to get to the cut for you. Actually, it's this one. I'll put it here. Right. Again, the name of this one is called Angel Master Blur. Thank you so much, Vicki. I cut them with my fancy. I would cut more and I will cut more. <laughs> However, I got to get a new um, bit. My husband had to come and save me because I broke a bit halfway through. So it cut. But um, I just designed them and um, I just cut them out with my fancy. But uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I was like, ah, oh, I messed them up. But they do look cute. And hopefully they're going to be. Uh, just keep an eye out when I get some more made. I will let you guys know. Um, I got to give you a bit. Or a couple maybe. A couple of those new bits. <laughs> So I'm just going to do basic decoupage on these. So I'm actually just going. Oh, you asked for a jigsaw from Sienna. Um, Frank, don't let me around the big tools too much. I know the CNC is a little big, but um, I can program it and then step back and stop it if it's an emergency. So the jigsaw, scroll saw, he cut these, but finish them out with a scroll saw for me. But yeah, no, he likes to keep me safe and fingers attached. So. <laughs> and I actually got the pattern, a little bit of the pattern, off of a, a site called Creative Fabrica. And I just took their designs and, and edited them a little to make it my design. Oh, bandsaw? Was it a bandsaw, Frank? See, I don't even know the name of the saws. He says it was a bandsaw. You want to make sure you have enough of the um, medium underneath it to make sure it all stays down good and even. Oh, see, he's in there listening. I know he's listening to me. I can hear myself in the echo. <laughs> I just can't hear him responding to me. I have a. I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, I got to turn around and look at what I'm getting. So I'm going to take this one. I haven't got it on the bottom here good. So get it all on there, make sure it's all over. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my sanding block and then I'm going to go straight up and down and I'll cut it, make a nice smooth cut along that edge. 
I think I need to get a new standing box because this one seems a little dull. That's okay. It'll be fine for the day. Oh, your British Bake Off. Learn to make me some cookies. Wait. Those British cookies are awesome. Or, I'm sorry, they're called biscuits, aren't they? <laughs> so, see that? I thought I was interrupting your homework. Yeah, the the different colors behind the paper is um, just to make it stand out a little bit. It's a light paper, so you'll definitely see if you give me a second here. Let get this one all finished up. It's cut. It just, I didn't get it all the way off. So. And then I'll come back when it dries and get the edges real good. Just, if, I'm, if I do the edges now, I'll make a mess all over me and the table. And everything else so i'm usually a mess In the summer, I did a red, white, and blue birdhouse with red, white, and blue underneath the um, colors or underneath the paper. So it was kind of so. There's the one. Cute. Let it dry. And I'm going to grab the red one. So let's see which one is going to fit on that one. I think this one's gonna be the bigger one. Um, I use Fusion. I'm sorry, I use Fusion. Um, cup coat for my medium, but you can use Mod Podge or any of the um. Oh, water-based sealant, anything like that. I mean, if you, it depends if you have, it depends on what kind of paint, uh, paint you use, but any kind of water uh, sealant, water-based sealant, like uh, Fusion Tough Coat is a water-based sealant, and I just use that. But you can use Mod Podge for it. Oh, do I want that one? Guys, question. Do you want this one, or do you think that one would be cool? I'm not sure. We got the mama. But I think I like this one. I think I like this one. Hopefully you guys like this one. So, I don't know about liquid patina, but if it's a um, water based uh, sealant or top coat, um, it should be fine. I don't know what liquid patina is, though. I'll have to look that up. Okay. I'm going to start at the chippy top here. I'm going to work my way down. So I've got a Highlander underneath it. I'm going to go put this little lighter coat of this lighter um, decoupage tissue on top of it. You see, Vicky, um, it's showing through just a little. Give it a little bit of color. Okay. 
it's just a way to add um you could do watercolors underneath it that's pretty cool too i've done that um i did that in my um junk journal put watercolors underneath it it was really cool Thank you. I appreciate that. It's a different way to, to make something. I mean, everybody can have the same angel. You know, there's angel um, decoupage underneath it, but if the colors and the stuff that you put on top of it makes it yours. Kind of cool. Working my way back down, down. Make sure I get all of the pieces and make sure it's even. I don't want it too much because it dries fast. And it's wrinkly. And a way to make it not wrinkly, you can um, add a little water. Just a little because I'm going to see what it'll rip. But I want to use the wrinkles of my benefit and put a little um, um, wax, brown wax on the top to make it look aged. Just be careful not to add too much water because then it'll make the paper rip when you work it. Okay, and I'm just going to grab my um, standing block and I'm going to lay it. Trying to go straight up with me all. The red will show through, but this is wet, so it'll be a little bit um, lighter than that. Um, I'll post pictures after a while. You know, when it dries, I'll post pictures, but it still will show through, but not this dark. I wet it, so it's going to be a little bit um, stronger now, but when it dries, you'll still see the red through. It'll be more like this or like this right here. Not this. Or this is wet. This here is not so wet. But it will be clear on the top, but the red is the paint underneath. It's really cool.
Hello, Jenny. How are you? Dog's neighbor took a miss for a dog guy if they hate him for whatever reason. <laughs> we might be quiet. We might be out that already. But they're going to get in grief. We just heard that little truck. Clean it off the edge here. Oh, oh here they come. So they start barking. It's because I heard the UPS guy. Here's my bubba. He's going to bark at me. He was asleep. He's a little delayed there. Kind of shocked. But she's really here all over. Go lay down. It's fine. He's fine. Got a little more turn to it. I'll come back and put red along the edge to finish it up. Here's that. Here's the second one. Um, yes, I can. I have burned the edges, but I'm indoors and uh, Frank frowns on that in the inside. Now I have done it. There's a video out there where we did it outside, and it was kind of cool. Um, it was a uh, a flower thing. Um, and I have some words like uh, believe. I have that or blessed or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. But I do have that, so if you decoupage that, you can burn it. Um, but that'll have to be another one because I don't have those with me. You know, working on. But I do have a live out there or a video on YouTube um, where I had burned the edges off. Bye bye. No bark. He gonna bark. He gonna. Oh, that's Sissy. Sissy go bark. The ups guys at the neighbors. So that's this. This is um, just de Roy's cycle decoupage tissues. Um, it's a little thicker than rice paper. So, so I'll put a link up in my in the description of my stuff of the item. That's number two. See that finished. And then let's work on this one here. Let's say 
My dog is going to start working and tell you. I hear him. So this one I'm going to put the bigger one. Put this one here. So I'm going to cut it down. Okay, so I have to. I am going to start the top again and work my thumb down. Let's see. Just making sure that I uh, get a good even coat of the medium. I want to put the limit out in the middle. I'm going to do that stuff. I'm going to do we got all the edges. Okay. I'm just gonna just gonna put um, a little bit of water on. I don't want to make too much because then it will be I don't want to make Oops, I didn't put enough there again. You know that. I missed it on the edge. There we go. Put some water on it just to get that out, get the little wrinkles out, but just be careful with the water because it will cause it to drip. Hey, Karen, thank you. What I'm doing. Is I cut these little trees with my I designed them and cut them with my CNC and I am I painted them different colors underneath them and then I'm putting um decoupage on top. The name of it is I think it's called Angel Masterboard from Recycle Decoupage. So I am just putting these on top to add a little bit of you know color to the decor so it's not just white, but they are thin and I wanted a little bit more color in that. Another pour. So I added a little bit of that and I'm spritzing it just a little bit. If you spritz it too much, to get the uh, wrinkles out, but if you do too much, it will cause it to rip. So be careful if you're going to do that. I know by experience. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not doing that. You guys can see the uh, color coming through. And Karen, if you want, when, after I'm done, it'll be on a replay. You guys can go back and finish. You can watch the first part if you'd like. You're welcome to stay with us. Ask all the questions you want.
I'm using a Fusion test coat for the uh, medium. I've used Fusion Highlander Red for the redwood tree. I've used Fusion Champlain for the white tree, and I use Fusion um, Everett for the green. Thank you. Just make sure when you're putting on the medium that it's even. It's even um, coats like this. Hey, Carrie, how are you? Okay, so I'm going to, I'm taking a sanding block and I'm just going to seam along the edges just to cut the edges so I don't have to worry about doing that because I'm terrible at that. If you take a sanding block along the edge, it'll make it good straight line. There you go. It's good for round edges. There you go. This one's going to be a little more than just the um, other ones I did because it got a little more curves to it. A little more curves, like me. There we go. Just going to clean up the edge. And when I get done, uh, we got the live. I'm gonna I'm gonna come back around the edges and paint the edges uh, the solid colors, and I'll post pictures of them uh, once I'm complete and uh, I stage it for you guys. So um, it probably won't be today before I get them finished. Um, just keep an eye on the site. Um, On the country road crafts and see and i'll post them up there later in the week if not tomorrow i should be able to get it done tonight and get pictures but i'm not sure if i'm gonna get it ready to go on the site before see right there i got too wet and then it ripped but it's okay just be careful if you get too wet just know it'll rip what i'm going to do is try to put this piece back on here i don't think it matters too too much but Catch it back on and when it all dries, sand it back off. Yeah, just I just made a mess of it. All right, I think that worked. What do you think Does that worked? Okay. Those these little corners are tight. Little sand and block. There. I do this every Tuesday at six on my on Roy Cycle decoupage and on my hey Dora. Thank you so much, Doris. I will talk to you soon. Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you before then. So, um, what I'm doing now is just clean up the edges carefully because I got a little bit wet. 
if we get here for a little rip, easy, 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 it looks too wet. And I'm also going to put some wax on the top here to give it a little aged look. There we go. There we go. Things are a little, a little tricky. Should we go along the edge? Yes, the paper is light enough um, because it's white, it's very light colors. It is light. Now, if you have a darker color, it won't show through as well. But um, here's this one. It's almost all the way dry. So you can see the color a little bit coming through. This place right here is still a little damp. So, But this right here is dry. So you can still see the color, but you still see the picture. But if you don't, if you just want to see the picture, you just paint a, a, a white or a very light color underneath it if you want. Um, I just wanted a couple little, thank you, Karen. I just want a little bit of colors. I like the paper, but I want a little different color. You can also do, I don't know if you were talking about earlier, but you can do, um, watercolors underneath, you know, and those are, it's quite nice. It's a little bit like lighten out the paint a little bit. So it's thin. You can do fusion like that too, just uh, water it down a little. When you paint, it'll be like watercolors. And um, that's pretty cool. Flash of watercolors underneath it of the lighter paint of the lighter um, papers. Definitely cool. I did a tree this past summer with um, I did it red, white, and blue, but I painted a white underneath it, and then I um, did blue and red tissue paper on you know decoupage tissue on top. It was cool. And I'm trying to be careful, like I said, I've got that little right here a little wet. And it will rip the paper if you work it too much and it's a wet. This one damp. Not really wet. I got it wet. And this one here's a little trickier because the uh got a lot of twists and turns to it. It's drier down here.
just have a little bit right there. Yeah. There we go. So you see a little bit of the green underneath it and a little bit of the red underneath it. A little bit of the white. Let's make this over so you can see what I'm working on. All right. So, oh, in that piece there, I just don't want to say anything. Okay, I'm going to have to redo that little corner. And then I'm going to take Fusion on um, a few more minutes. I'm going to take Fusion um, Espresso Furniture Wax. And I am going to just pick up the edges a little bit, distress it just a little, just the edges. Just going to do the edges, like right here. Right? Not anything crazy, just on the edges. I just want to have it here just a little. Because normally I would go, but I want the picture to stay, so I'm not going to touch the edges. I'm going to remind myself not to do that. Right, you guys see what I'm doing? Trying to hold it closer, you guys can see. Just get me edges, right? Okay, I'm gonna do this one here, just the edge. Get a little more wax on the edge of this. Just touching up the edges. Yes, definitely. And um, keep looking on my, um, I'm going to get a new bit and I will cut some more of these. Um, I may actually put the, if you want the, uh, I can put the template out what I used. I cut it, I did it myself. So, right there, I didn't get that piece out very good. And that's the winter trees. I didn't want to put Christmas paper on it per se. They are winter trees, so I can use them through January. You know what I'm saying? There's a. I get lazy with the decor. The winter trees. Right, you're just touching up the edges. Or you can do it in January and have it the next year. That would be kind of cool too. And I'm just touching up the edges to give it a little more definition. That's all. Nothing outrageous. Normally I would go, but I want the color to show through. And see, this in here is almost dry. Right here is a little wet, and there's a little wet, but everything else is almost dry. You can still see that color in it. Um, 
Oh, they might stand up. Look. Oh, they stand up. They can stand up on their own. I didn't want to fix. I got. I didn't want to fix the look. All right. So there is my decor for this afternoon. And um, if you're interested in being on the VIP list, the link is in the um, is in the description. If you're interested in the design, put design in the um, comments, and I'll send you a copy of my design. It's not a big deal. I designed these, so it's not a big deal. So let me know. I can email that over to you guys. All right. Hopefully, you guys have a wonderful time. And if I don't see you guys before next Monday, have Merry Christmas if it's Christmas for you guys, and Happy Holidays for those who are not. And I will talk to you guys next Tuesday. All right. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see you next week.